Greetings, and today's and Guardians. My name is Hyperheims, and welcome back to Kick Run Kingdom. We're going back at it again into the, where is it, the special episode stuff, because we still have a lot more story in regards to the Mermaid's Tale. And obviously, recently, Part 2 was released, so we have introduction to more story. Now, of course, I've been gathering up some more. We have over 500 now, which, to be honest, on paper... That seems like a good thing because that means we can go through a lot of levels we can go through a lot of cutscenes but at the same time that seems like a bad thing because i feel like they're just gonna go down and down and down and uh the more that we get into the de uh, deep chapter the more that we're gonna end up wasting them especially if it's on levels that we end up losing so that's gonna be great but with that being said i'm gonna be reading comments from the video oops i forgot to finish the picnic story because i remember when i did a video on that a while ago and it was only part one of it and I didn't do part two since until that episode. So if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on the videos, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day and we appreciate being around each other from, from uh, community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. So instantly, we're just going to read all the comments from Ian also Brooks because they left a solid amount. The first comment, which is pretty long, ends up saying, if YouTube would stop glitching on me, what I would bring to a picnic would be sandwiches, cooked hot dogs, apples, mangoes, bananas, mustard, ketchup, dill, relish, chips, mac and cheese, cookies, a cake, paper plates, plasticware, and the plastic cups, and also nickel and water. You mean plates? Well, I mean, you said paper plates. What's nickel? You mean the actual money? But then again, also, you know what I don't think you know in there? bring a basket that'd be pretty unique but your the rest of your comments are rather small one saying be beware of be beware of trains which to be fair you do got to be aware of them because you never know when some accident can happen on a train you never know be careful when crossing be careful when walking across them be careful when running near them just be careful ian also brooks his other comment says my energy is 10 percent well then go charge up go ahead and just like sleep plug yourself into that blanket and just charge up and your last comment says this is more than just a tea party this is a fight to the death yeah, that'd be pretty unique. Anyway, Shroud of the Eclipse. Let's see how this all goes down. Are there no more injured cookies? Report the damage of the invasion, please. Almost none. Oh, thank the sea we were able to block the attack. I, I swear, I still love Gold Citron. I don't care what anyone says. Gold Citron is one of my favorite mermaid At the very least, one of my favorite mermaid cookies. Oh, that was close. If we'd been any later, then... Shh. It's okay. <gasps> Mermaids. The moon is completely hidden now. The eclipse has begun. Leads of the sea, follow me. Oh no, I sense my powers have weakened. Ugh, and so do I. Doesn't the color of my scales look a, a bit faded? My strength and luster are disappearing. I think you still look beautiful, I'll have you know. That's how things will be until the end of the eclipse. How about you, Crimson Coral Cookie? Well, I have no reason to lie to you. I feel weaker than I have at previous eclipses. Wait, so it's happened before? Well, I guess that is obvious, but like... How'd you... Hmm. I was more wondering how you feel weaker and uh, you still felt strong back then. It is a total eclipse after all. All we can do is wait until it's over. <sighs> Let's hurry and finish up those repairs. We must get through this safely. The foot of light for a cookie. The seafoam right is over, and the eclipse has begun. While the other gem mermaids were defending Tear Crown against the land cookies, all I could do was watch over them from the safety of my chambers. How frustrating! Well, you know it's awesome. What was that tremor just now? That tremor was so bad it made the game freeze. <laughs> Who the pleb are you, and why are you a little critter? The eclipse is over. The moon missed the sea so much that she returned so soon. Who are these little dorks? What? The eclipse is already over. No, it's not. It's, uh -huh. What's this ominous sound? Let's swim up to the surface to greet the moon. Kids, wait. Don't swim up there. Wait a second. Oh, is that one of the ships? And where the plug the frilled jellyfish come from? Frilled jellyfish cookie. I'm unharmed. But it looks like another attack. I have to go help the other mermaids. Okay, so it is another attack. And there's also Rescue the Young, which 
I want to focus on this, but I think it's going to be one one of those ones that like require more points. Okay, so that's eight. And uh, how much is this going to be? Dark Sea Depths. I guess we could focus on... Uh, maybe we could focus on both. I know it could be a side cutscene, and it could be like could lead to some treasure. But like I just worry about wasting quills, you know? I guess... I think I might do this only just because it's relatively early. And uh, we'll see what it's about. So we got to help the young. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. But I don't think I'll do any other similar thing in the future, only just because those are going to take up a lot more quills. But with that being said, there are some comments from Brawly the Turtle. For example, one comment says, uh... Is that upside down? Australia? Oh, oh that says Australia. Yeah, a real creative comment for you to say. Anyway, what's that noise? Could it be another attack? Girls and girl cookie, the young mermaid cookies are heading toward the surface. Not the children. Let me... It's okay, aquamarine cookie. I'll handle it. Soldiers, follow my lead. Yes, Crimson Coral Cookie. Alright, there we go. Now back to this stuff. And hopefully we can actually make it through relatively easy. I should probably activate the buff for you. Because that would not be a good thing if I didn't have those activated. Here we go. You know, it'd be pretty unique if this side to... Oh my gosh, Futai is almost dead. What the heck is going on? Calm it, calm it, calm it. Let's, let's calm down for a second. Uh, low, low plug right there. Uh, block the damage, heal up. Pattaya almost just literally died just right there, which I don't know why, but apparently it almost happened. Uh, by the way, Brawly the Turtle's other comment says, it's gonna be some, uh, it's gonna be what? It's gonna be some Prit A. True, it would be pretty Prit A. Come on, take him down. They may still have some shields on us, but we can still take him. I'm hoping at least. If a cookie falls, that doesn't mean we have to give up yet. Okay, we did it. Is everyone all right? Yay! Thank you, Crimson Coral Cookie. We just thought with the light shining again, the eclipse was over, and the moon returned. Crimson Coral Cookie, more land cookies are coming. We need to get to the children to safety first. Head back to the kingdom. Well, hopefully they're safe, because, you know, don't want the kids to be under attack. And also, Brawly the Turtle's last comment says, Thank you for showing us this great story, said absolutely no one ever. Hey, that's just because I still have the story available to me, and I didn't see the ending of it, so... Bully you. Uh, anyway, by the way, you left another comment I didn't re even see saying, Anyways, I finally changed my profile picture and name. I was... Oh, give me... Oh, you were... The name in gibberish. Now you're Brawly the Turtle. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so there's another one. Back to the kingdom. Okay, so this one shouldn't be as much... Okay, it's still eight. That's relatively fine. Oh, what is this cutie? Pink tropical fish. Some of these fish are on the cuter on the bigger side. But also, with that being said, Princess Blue actually left two comments. One saying, yay, in all exclamation points. If only said, uh, you know... And by that, I mean one exclamation point at the end. And the other comment you said is food, with a lot of dots at the end. Because I guess this update is about food. Or this uh, story that I was focusing on is about food. Not this one, the one I'm talking about in the video. Can you make it to Tear Crown from here? Swim as fast as you can until you reach the kingdom. Well, what about you, Crimson Coral Cookie? We'll be right behind you. Now go. Okay. The low splishy noises. If left unchecked, those land cookies will surely come all the way to Tear Crown. I won't let them get any closer. Soldiers, show those land cookies the power of the sea. Yes, Crimson Coral Cookie. All right, we got to go ahead and protect the sea. Uh, that's already a lot of damage taken. Uh, that's kind of terrifying. Uh, let that activate. Uh, wait for the next wave of enemies to happen so we can activate our buffs. All right, slash that blade. Slash some sword. Slash them all over the floor. I'm surprised how I made that rhyme. Nuke them. There we go. That was way easier, but then again, it was just normal mode, not hard. Crimson Coral, Kiki, are you alright? We're all safe. Did you see children? Yes, don't worry. They've arrived safely and now resting over there. That didn't sound good. They're getting closer, soldier. Give me a status report on the kingdom and our cookies. Yes, Crimson Coral, Kiki. I need to get back to the front line. Aquamarine, Kiki, our guards must keep this area safe. Yes, good idea. The other gem mermaids are already there. Yeah, if they're already there, then hopefully... We can make it to the more of the story better. And also, there was actually a mission where I had to go through some of these levels. And uh, I think it's one of the Red Coral Cookie, uh, you know, Super Epic Gacha missions. Which, luckily, now that's done. I'll need to do a couple more things. And hopefully soon... I'm actually at 5,000 now. So hopefully soon we can reach that 10,000 mark. Then I can hopefully get Crimson Coral through a gacha. But anyway, free treasure chest. Uh, by the way, how long... Okay, we're at 9 minutes 30 seconds into the video. Let's open up this treasure chest and we'll read a few more comments. And then read a comic question of the day. So, and here is... Three ender crystals, two of those, a hundred of those swiftness crystals, and ten ten-minute timers. You know, pretty good. I like that free loot. But now we have to go to the dark sea depths, which, just for comparison, that's 843,000 power. What was this level? Uh, um, wow. Well, I guess it does explain how uh, we almost got folded in the first one, but I didn't expect it to be that hard. But Okay, I guess, uh, 
How many comments are left? There's still a solid amount. So let me read one comment from Ignore2834 saying, Congratulations on getting the white pro cookie cast and Dev Sisters really want you to feel the glittering waves. That's true. I didn't get it on that video that you commented on, but I got it in the last video. So still, thanks. So with that being said, let's go ahead and read a comment question of the day, which... <sighs> I, I want to try and make it interesting in regards to the C. I just kind of... Hard to because I've asked a lot of things about the C. So... Uh, Okay, how about this? This might be also helpful to the environment. Do you remember any experiences picking up trash off the sea? I know it kind of seems like a simplistic question, but something that I think should be a common knowledge thing is uh, if you ever see trash in the midst of the sea, either be at the uh, sea floor or at it, you know, you know, it's floating on top of the water. You remember any experiences picking up any trash at the sea? Because let me just tell you, either if it's on shore, in the water, or on top of the water floating, you got to be sure to keep your seas clean because you don't know how many things not even just like sea creatures but even people that could lead up in danger like imagine if some child is like you know swimming and then like something gets caught like on their arm or in their throat it would just be dangerous for everyone so hey you got to keep your seas clean but i'm just curious if you have any noteworthy like information about that because i know i think one example i do remember uh something about that is i actually remember finding someone's like i think keys and like it was at the deep bottom of the ocean i ended up picking them up and i didn't know where to put them so, uh, I think since this was when I was younger too, so I think I just handed them to someone. Uh, I think, uh, maybe it was a lifeguard? I don't even remember. I all I know is I, I probably put them somewhere, and I either left them somewhere, or, uh, I gave them to someone. I don't remember. But that was a long time ago. But with that being said, let's go ahead and continue, continue on with these levels, because there's quite an amount to go through. And luckily, we only spent, what, like, maybe only a bit over 30 quotes so far, which, definitely for the sakes of the episode, isn't that bad. And hopefully these levels should be a little bit easier. I mean, we're already uh, nearly... Ty is about to die. <laughs> okay, big nuke. Okay, there we go. Now we can take this time to heal up, and we'll be fine. I actually heard from some people saying uh, that these levels are actually ridiculous. And probably later on, they're gonna, e they're gonna get even worse, which I'm very concerned about. So if that's the case... I'm so screwed if that's the case, honestly. I'm just gonna be honest with that. But anyway... There's actually a couple comments from a user Everyone. I can't understand because it's in Zibra, saying common question of the day, then basket. That's what one commenter left all that stuff but didn't say basket, and you said the basket. You, you know your knowledge. And the other comment you left is the fact Hyper can replicate a dog whimpering baffles me. Dude, I can make dog noises for days. I can do a wild dog barking. I can do dog panting. I can do dog whimpering. I swear. I should do a dog voice acting video if everyone ever needs a dog in their story. I'm being actually serious here. I'm not even joking. On the verge of war. You know, I, I, you know what this might be implication of? What if, like, this is just implication between, like, you know, person A and person B going to war, and Black Pearl Cookie represents the nuke being dropped on everyone to end the fighting? Because it just obliterates everyone. I feel like, it may sound unfortunate, but I feel like that's the true purpose of what's going on here. I'm being genuinely honest. But, whatever. We're, we'll just have to see it later on when the story reaches its climax. But with that being said, there's actually a few comments from Mona Wolf Deer, one saying, yeah. Of course you would say nah. Of all the people, you, you'd you be the one to say nah. Uh, put up the shields real quick. I probably should have should have put up the boofs, the bust, the what, the what? The buffs and all that stuff. Get the blub out of here quickly. Uh, okay, Tartitan actually took a bit of damage there. I don't know why, but uh, get the blub out quickly. Okay, there we go. Take a bit of time to heal. We can calm down. It's just one enemy. Do the heals right here. Wait for the next wave. Cut these plubs down. Uh, activate this. Here's the big glittering waves. Why is Tartitan getting some damage? That's what I'm concerned about. Uh, get your health back up, and then breathe fire upon them all. There we go. Uh, another Mona comment said, bro, really forgot. Yeah, I forgot for a few months. Maybe it was over a year for all I know. That's my bad. And Mona said, common question, food. Well, of course you need to bring food. Why wouldn't you bring food? Uh, but yeah, there's still some more comments, but luckily we made it through that level. Then we can go for another level, and then... We can actually uh, go through another cutscene, which is, uh, is that the one of war? On the verge of war. Yes, it is. And now we're at Dark Sea Depths, Roaring Depths, Trembling Sea. The sea is trembling underneath all this fear. And I'm kind of worried about it. Because me personally, I'm actually worried. Uh, but anyway, let's read three comments. Each one being from Orange, uh, Orton's Arch Nemesis. One saying, common question, I would bring a sandwich full of mayo. Nothing but mayo and bread. Yeah, and what, what, you know, maybe some meat would be good on that? Maybe some cheese? Mustard? How about just a lettuce sandwich? How about that? Maybe a tomato sandwich? That'd be fine. Oh, a tomato salad? Maybe you might like it. Orton left another comment saying, Par, par, parfait. Of course, my par parfait magic candy is now at level 11, and so is my squid ink magic candy. Woohoo. Well, you know what? I'm actually very proud. I meant to press parfaits one. 
Dang it. Uh, well, I actually am proud of you for making the magic candy go that far because uh, a parfait can definitely help you a lot if you don't have a good level Snapdragon, in my personal opinion. But still, I am proud of you because that's a good magic candy to get. As soon as you can, try and upgrade uh, Parfait Cookies Magic Candy and uh, Cream Puff Cookies Magic Candy because they got some good magic candies. And last but not least, Orton's uh, comment. Orton's last comment says, "Just gonna say something. I may have gone a bit overboard. I got blue. Uh, oh, Black Pearl Crystal Jam at level seven. Well, I don't even have it at level five. I don't think. So you know what? You're doing good for yourself. Anywho, now we have a cutscene to go through, which I am worried about. What? Well, I'll read a comment from Sonic Gamer real quick saying, "Common question. I'm just gonna quote Peter Griffin and say, uh, we're gonna go with the potato salad. Well, you know what? Show me potato salad. Show it to me on the board right now. I know what re I know what reference you're talking about. You think I don't watch Family Guy? I actually haven't watched it in like years. O unless if it's like clips on YouTube that always have Subway surfers under it. I'm not that much of a nuisance. Anyway. Crimson Coral Cookie. Mermaid Hall has collapsed. Oh shoot. Several merfolk have been injured in the destruction of Jelly Coral Square. The light is returning. The enemy is back. How are they doing this much damage? All they probably got are like cannons and anchors. I guess anchors could probably be dropped on them, but why? What are they are they dropping torpedoes? <laughs> They would return so soon. Uh, these land creatures are so persistent. You said I like how you sound like both anxious and annoyed. I just love it. Crimson coral cookie, white pearl cookie. Are you hurt? Is everything all right? Uh, let me see. I'm okay. I promise. Now, everyone, listen up. Okay, I think we have the whole troop here, which is good. Aquamarine cookie, use seaweed to lift debris and save the other merfolk. Good plan. Gold citrine cookie. You use your golden waves to confuse the enemy, while mystic opal cookie spreads a layer of fog over the kingdom. That's genius. They're gonna think it's P. That's that's genius. Yes. This battle will be unlike anything we've seen before. The eclipse makes it even harder. But please do your best. Crimson Coral Cookie, where will you go? I will take Tear Crown's finest warriors to the surface. Seahorse Legion, advance upwards. How are you gonna walk? It's too dangerous to go on your own. I'll come with you. No, White Pearl Cookie. You are not yet prepared for the battlefield. But right now, the whole sea is in danger. I can fight too. No. Instead, you will round up the merfolk who cannot fight and evacuate to the Sea Hollows. That's the safest place we have. What? But... Listen to me. We will protect you and the kingdom. I promise you, White Pearl Cookie. My dear baby sister. Dear sister, please do as Crimson Coral Cookie says, okay? It's too dangerous. So stay beside Frilled Jellyfish Cookie. Now, we have to get going now, okay? That's a lot of explosions. Gem Mermaids of the Sea. The time to fulfill your duty and protect Tear Crown has come! My lady, we must make haste. Okay, there is more cutscenes to be read through. And then there... What is that? Darkened Sanctuary. Should we leave this on a cliffhanger? We are 18 minutes in. I think it would be a good spot for a cliffhanger. And all that's left are a few comments, so I think I'll just go through the rest of them and stop it there because... Sheesh, everything is going down now. We gotta fight a plumbing anchor man again. Come on, the deepest depth, dark sanctuary, and the only friend. I feel like that might be referring to a uh, uh, white pearl and Lord Oyster. Hopefully, stuff doesn't tremble in that. But the last comments we have are three from a gamer. One saying common question of the day: some sandwiches, juice, and water, maybe a few snacks or something. Probably that would be pretty versatile. I mean, I'd like some juice at a picnic too. And also, you left a comment saying, "Well, I got cherry blossom, and I did everything to get that story, as cherry was one of my favorite cookies at the time." Well, I think cherry cookie is still one of my favorite cookies, at least one of my favorite rares. And lastly, a gamer's comment says, "Well, today we're getting a promotion for Cookie Run, uh, promotion for Cookie Run Oven Break, and NPC is being playable. Oakshaw will be playable. I know that for a fact. Uh, I should have read that comment earlier, but whatever." But the very last comment in the video comes from Smart and Sparrow saying, "Oh my, cherry cookie and cherry blossom cookie are the great bond, but I like these two. And at 10:02, sandwich, apples, and tea are the best things to bring." to a picnic also i need to bring a pink picnic basket because yeah it's pretty yeah fair enough a pink uh, a pink picnic basket would be even better than a regular picnic basket i gotta give you shout outs for that but with that being said next time that we do this we gotta hopefully get all the mermaids rallied up save all the merfolk 
and then go to the city while a Crimson Coral just slides everyone. And I hope that's what happens. That's the hopeful stuff that happens. So with that being said, if you enjoy uh, the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kick Run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And in the description, you'll see a link to all my social media. You'll see a link to my merchandise, a link to my Discord server called the Hype Knees Hub. And lastly, a link to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kick Run YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you in today's Guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees.